Welcome to the SCP Foundation. You are going to be briefed on SCP-053. Let's go ahead and begin. Item number SCP-053, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-053 is to be contained in an area no less than 5 meters by 5 meters, or 16 feet by 16 feet, and given adequate room to move. Toys, books, games, and other recreational devices are to be amply provided and rotated every three months. Proper bedding, bathroom, and medical facilities are to be maintained at all times. Food should be provided three times daily, and two snacks are allowed if requested. No physical contact is to be made with SCP-053 without full atmosphere containment suit and eye shield. No eye contact is to be made with SCP-053 for any reason. Any objects given to personnel by SCP-053 may be removed but must be given to quarantine for examination. Only one member of personnel may be present in the room at any given time and must be secured by a safety line of steel cable. All personnel must be removed from SCP-053's containment chamber within 10 minutes of entering. Any personnel who begin to act erratically, scream, or attempt to grab SCP-053 are to be removed and quarantined. Any personnel attempting to remove their suit are also to be removed and quarantined. No sharp objects or firearms are allowed in SCP-053's containment room. Description. SCP-053 appears to be a small three-year-old girl. She is capable of basic speech and appears to be slightly above average in mental development. She has a generally pleasant personality and rarely seems upset, becoming agitated only in the presence of groups of people. Any and all humans over the age of three who make eye contact with, physically touch, or remain around SCP-053 for longer than ten minutes will rapidly become irrational, paranoid, and homicidal. Most, if not all, of these feelings will be directed at SCP-053, and afflicted subjects will attempt to kill SCP-053 after first killing or driving off all humans visible to them. Those attempting to kill SCP-053 will suffer massive heart attacks or seizures and die seconds after doing any physical damage to SCP-053. SCP-053 will regenerate almost instantaneously from any wound, regardless of severity. SCP-053 appears wholly ignorant of these effects and ignores any and all subjects affected. When questioned about the effect, SCP-053 is incapable of response. And that concludes your briefing on SCP-053. Needless to say, it would be handy to know how she regenerates so quickly, however... If we could remove the part where anybody near her wants to kill her, that would be great as well. We have confidence in your capabilities as a researcher and know you will do well. Remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they may live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.